I think people like didn't even like, ha- you don't even know what my food tastes like. The only thing that he was like the garlic salt. I made slop ball like sloppy meatballs basically and I put too much garlic salt because I thought it was more garlicky because it was a different brand than I use and my brand is more garlicky than salty and then I made it I made them and I was like this is the worst thing I've ever made like it was it was literally disgusting it literally just to taste like pure salt and people like be like oh I want to try and I'm like you don't want to try this literally just tastes like or you were in that house were just Pure like salt. i know and you were he, in that house just basically like can you guys please give us more garlic salt that has more garlic flavor than salty flavor because i swear to god these slap balls are going to make people's mouths just <laughs> be dry <laughs> and, no and then the next day I, the next day i made the next day i made them again and they were amazing because like i understood like the, the girl i didn't even use garlic salt i was just like we're not going there i'm just using a little regular salt a little other spices and like then i was making slop for a week for everyone in the house when they were hungry like you know what i mean so like i and i also like made mac and cheese for everyone while i was on slop and like i was we were trying to eat it and like joe went for it and i was like stay we were so hungry we were just hangry and it was the first time we could eat real food in a week and like joe goes for like a second helping us <laughs> wait for my mac and cheese queen, queen. we were just so hungry um but like we, they i let them eat half of it like i saved half of it for us and then gave half of it to the house for dinner and like the first week like it was the third night and i was like oh what's for dinner and there everyone was like oh we're waiting for dinner to be cooked and i was like oh who's making dinner they're like oh like oh, they were waiting oh. for me to make dinner <laughs> so if you stayed in that house you were just like so then i like made right, it what's the next thing i'm gonna be whipping up today like what's the next thing i'm gonna cook because i know what else is gonna do <laughs> so like yeah so I- I was like using it as a strategy and so I was like making dinner and then there's the you're not a chef thing so then it was just like but you're waiting for me to make dinner and you're loving all the food that I'm making I don't under like after the fact I'm just like none of this makes sense Mm -hmm. so it was just like I just thought that was funny that like Tucker was like you're not a chef and he literally (laughs) never had my food like that's crazy and then people people never and I never had his food because I was on slop. How can you say you don't It was because I didn't know how to open up the pepper grinders that were there because there are different pepper grinders than I have. And then um it was the garlic salt and that's what he used as why I'm not a chef. Right. And it was just funny. <laughs> that I just laughed. It gave me a good laugh. Um, hey, I Lydia, have a question. Have uh, we, were, we were waiting. <laughs> we were just waiting for you to talk. Sorry. Um. So like, of like, of like all the Tell seasons. Me. It's a dumb question, but like, of like all the seasons, who's your favorite house guest? There's no dumb questions. <laughs> questions are beautiful. Um. I mean, I love yeah, Grande. Yeah. Grande. It was hilarious. Um, I, I also season twenty. Who did I love from twenty? I um, like Casey. Was, I love Casey. Love Casey. Casey was such a vibe. Uh, our favorites. Casey was like nice. She was a team player. Um, you know, there's just like people every season that you're like, mm. oh, I like the way they're mm. playing. I like that kind of person. Mm. I see a little bit of me. Rachel, Rachel Riley. Oh my God. <laughs> Rachel Riley. Oh yeah, Rachel. I mean, Rachel Riley, of course. But you yeah. guys like knew that from she interviewed really? me. She was one of my is interviews, she, and I was like, oh, Rachel, what's up, girl? So that was fun. Like obviously, but that comes. I, I also that. really like June. June. I yeah. love June. June yeah. was the best. Mm-hmm. She did not care about about anyone in the house. She was like, I'm going to use you. I'm going to date you for like a day. Then I'm going to slit mm-hmm. your neck like the next day. So yeah, you can use that if you don't want me for now. Whoa. But bye. <laughs> season four was my first ever season. I love the way that Allison and June were just Savage. like, oh, we're both you want to be a I love when they both like were trying to throw the last HOH. Oh my God, zero one million. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, Lisa, what was your favorite? What was your favorite outfit that you wore in BB? I had so 
so many we more outfits that outfit. were so cute oh God, we that I did I like I worked on my packing so hard so I had just like such cute looks and I never got to like glam mm -hmm. up for the ceremonies either like I glammed up a little bit I never ha got to wear like my like some of my like mm -hmm. dresses yeah. that I wanted to wear like the first one I was like food vibes I'm gonna wear this and like the fun pants um but there were so many like looks that I had that I like didn't get to wear um honestly the yeah. white yeah. jumpsuit with the glasses and the space I that Leah did that for cast me. card photo I, I love the butterfly clips the butterfly clips are the most mm -hmm. cutest thing I saw I love the pink too with the streaks I love the butterfly thank you that was amazing Oh my god, thank you. Okay, so the butterfly clips, I mm -hmm. so I cater bachelorette parties, right? I started one of my companies is called oh, Batch wow. Best Friend. If you're not following it, go follow. Um, Batch Best Friend is what I, I told people about that on the show, but I didn't tell them it was my company. So it's Batch, Bachelorette, or Bachelor, however pe I, people identify love is love. And we do catering for the batch parties with like extra glitter, like fun packages, and wait, what was the whole point of butterfly the story? Clips. What was the original yeah. question? Sorry, it's late here. Oh my God, the butterfly clips. So there was like a 90s theme bachelorette party and they oh had like God. all the 90s accessories. And when we're there, like, they're like, oh my God, please take like, please like use stuff. And so we like use the accessories and we just garnish ourselves with them. And the butterfly clips are like, are like the epic 90s staple. So those were from a 90s bachelorette party. And I've been like wearing them in the, instead of just doing the two to the side, I've been like either doing a braid or the, how they're pinned in the front. So like those butterfly clips, I like absolutely love because they're from like such a fun like pool party day that I cater there was like some like the man servants or like male entertainers that like they're cute boys that come and like wait on you and bring you drinks so like they were there working the girls were like an absolute vibe and um those butterfly clips were from there so like they brought me luck then I saw like some funny the comments are like some of them I shouldn't be in the comment section uh, don't, if you don't have anything nice to say don't say it but someone was like Y2K style first is thought, so cringe, mm -hmm. and I was first like, thought, this leave generation, your clips alone. This also, generation Y2K is iconic. Is fiending, and I'm like, like fiending for Y2K outfits, and I'm telling you, they are in for this generation, because they, they get so creative, and I, and I just love it so much. I love Y2K. Also, like, I'm just, here's the thing. I'm going to wear what I want, and I'm going to wear what makes me happy. I'm going to wear what I feel good in and wear what makes me feel comfortable. It's not for anyone but myself. I'm gonna express myself with my style. Everyone else should do the same. And if someone doesn't <laughs> like it, you don't have to look. Well, you can always be like, I, I want a veto. And what did you win? Right. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, like, oh. except I had, um, Brooklyn did my French braids two weeks in a row for the um, nomination ceremony and I was on the block both times so like if I made it to the third week I was like I'm not doing this hairstyle for some reason on this season it's not giving me good luck usually but like in the competitions it's good to keep my hair out of the face oh, that's and that's right. like my like game face. Oh, I, me and Haley both <laughs> saw you and we thought we were, like you were immediately there. yeah yeah we saw you first and we were just like yeah she's gonna oh my god a real good Good question to ask, Lisa. Oh my Thank god, you. I have to ask this. Before the casting, like, yeah. got out, it was like, I, I don't even know if I'm like allowed to say this to you, but it was like leaked, basically. And people were like finding your photo of you. And we saw you with Miss Paris Hilton. And we just want to know how was it like, being in the same room as her because Paris Wilson is like a mega a mega celebrity like how was it like spending time with her and everything Paris Wilson's one of my, my clients what she's a celebrity oh, chef I'm her I'm I, I'm she's a celebrity well, chef I'm a chef I yeah. keep forgetting that she's a celebrity chef so I was oh my god I forgot <laughs> about that but it was just that had to be surreal so, though so she's <laughs> she's iconic <laughs> glitter <queen. laughs> Hi, Brandon. So yeah, she's one of my clients and I work with her and she's iconic and it's not a one-time thing. And actually while I was in the house, mm -hmm. my team worked an event. So yeah, I am a celebrity chef. It's not mm -hmm. a lie. It, <laughs> I want to be a client. Yeah, I want to be a client. If everyone...
everyone knew that you were a celebrity chef, like if they actually like believed you, I feel like everyone would be like asking, I feel like everyone would be asking you questions. They'd be like, so who else have you done? Who else have you done? Who else have you done? Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> but I didn't want to go in with like, I, my strategy was to not tell people that I ran two companies, that I was the owner, that I was a celebrity chef, like, because I didn't want people in terms of gameplay to know how smart or capable I was because you know running a business there's so many dynamics I'm used to running it I have a team of 20 people right like I'm used to navigating these decisions which is why you saw my logical mind make some gameplay decisions the business mind is the same where like it might not feel like it's this is business this isn't personal so like I have that mind where I can you know, make the hard decisions and cut people and send them home. It's not going to ever be an emotional decision. I show emotion because I'm human, but it's not an emotional decision. And so, so I didn't want to tell people that because I didn't want to show the cards. Obviously they saw who I was without telling them what I do, but I wanted to keep that stuff out and of the And for you so being in the game, it was like... So, so no one knows. So people think that I'm just a chef. But they don't even think I'm a chef. They think I'm like an orthodontist. Yeah. Angela was like, we were on the live feeds, and Angela was like, kind of going around to people, like, kind of like, whining about how you came for money. Like she runs her, she runs her own business, and she's a celebrity chef. She's getting money. She's earning. She's getting. She's getting yeah. money. She's not dumb either. Not like if those once those house guests like know the real truth about you, they're gonna be like, oh my god, Lisa, we're gonna be so. They're going to. They're gonna. Eat, they're going to be like they're gonna eat running to your DMs and me like Lisa. We're so sorry. You're gonna be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you should have said that in the house. You should have said that right in the house before I left. It, it'll I'm be interesting you, how like, people like once they find out the real truth, they're just the gonna fact. be like, like spreading like apologies about it. It's just gonna be so weird. You know what? I, I, you know, I. <laughs> Cedric's, he was just like, the, th the things that people said, like Cedric yesterday was like, people thought you, you, you left stuff around the house and Chelsea started like the rumor that like you had a butler. And I was like, people were just spewing lies. I left my shoes outside and my socks outside. I cleaned up the whole house. I left cough drop. Um, people were like sick the first week. So I lit little bowls of cough drops. I cleaned fresh, fresh towels. I took out the trash. I reset the kitchen. I like, uh, all I did was like clean and organize. I didn't tell people I did that because like, I'm not going to brag about contributing to a household. And then because I left my shoes outside, which people left stuff throughout the house, then they created whoever planted the seed of she's leaving stuff around the house. And then someone came up with a theory that I was a trust fund baby and that I had a butler, which none of that is true. Like you, people just started, and I literally heard that yesterday and I was like, yeah. I just like, I wish I had a butler. That sounds nice, but that's not my truth. I, you know, I, where I'm at now is cause I've worked hard for it. I've built my business from the ground up. I was building a business by myself without help to do it. I built it from the ground up and I took everything I know. And I just, I work a lot. I work 12 to 15 hour days for 10 years building a company. You know what I mean? Nothing was handed to me. Nothing is handed to me. I've always worked for everything that I have as, as everyone does. So I don't know how these rumors started. It was whoever was planting seeds and every, everything that everyone said in the house, I read transcripts, not all of them, but I read some of them yeah, and I'm just like, uh, what? Like, like it was, it was just, it was just lies after lies. And like, that's not who I am. Like, no, all of my, like, no, it's just, guess, no, it's not true. No, no nothing that, that they said probably was true. Chelsea or Angela. There's two things about that in the house. There's two yeah. things about that type of figure in the house. One about cleaning up the whole house. It shows that other people in the house are grown people and they can't do things for their own entire soul. So they have to have somebody else do it, which you did. Second, Angela's not like Angela isn't a mother because the true mother like cleaned up, did everything, washed the dishes, and I was Lisa. And she proved it with her actions. So at that point. And here's the thing.
yeah whatever the dishes thing I heard that too so I would cook the first week and someone was like oh you cooked I'll clean the dishes and I go are you sure I'll clean them they go no you cooked so then I would cook and Timo and like T-Core would clean so like we were, we were all contributing there was a lot of people that didn't clean that didn't do their laundry that didn't you know a lot of the girl like Brooklyn was cleaning Leah and Mackenzie would like deep clean the bathroom and people would show up and things just be clean and sometimes I would have to say like oh hey Leah and MJ clean the bathroom like when we were in there like thank you like thank you guys and someone was like oh yeah thank you like I'm a person that like recognizes people's contributions and appreciates it you know so like I don't know why people were just I mean people were just picking on me and making up lies about me all for two weeks and learning about the lies that just keep coming like that I keep reading about or people like Cedric telling me that or someone telling me the one the other day I was like like we what other lie like I don't I don't even know if I want to know them all because they're all just absolute lies and that's why like I'm out of the house because I think people were just like there was so many lies the worst thing that could have happened I think I heard a lot the worst thing that could have happened is if you stayed in the house longer and if you were like doing the dishes and cooking I feel like other people would like use you like that because it would be like oh Oh, um, 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 I don't have to cook. Lisa um, is cooking for me. She's washing our dishes. She's doing our clothes. That's like taking I advantage mean, of a person. And it's like... They already got in that habit. They already got in that habit, though. Like, you know what I mean? The third day, I was like, okay, like, yeah. I'm not going to be doing this every day there, right? So that I did it. And, and then I was like, oh, oh what's so going on? I'm like, cooking oh. again? They were... And then, like, the worst thing about it, there's going to be, so like, oh, you're not doing this for us anymore? Yeah. Okay, then we'll just vote you out and get you out of the house. Like, no, you guys are grown, too. You guys can cook. You guys can clean up a little bit. Because I'm not going to be, like, the one doing this. Yeah, yeah there were a few key play. Yeah, there were a few key players that were, like, cooking, cleaning, organizing, resetting. And then, for some reason, people put some really weird narratives about me out there. And it was just... I mean, all of them, all, literally everything that anyone has said in there is a complete lie. I learned that MJ said that I got what? her sick. I did not get her sick. I don't know. Everyone in the How house many lies I put out are these people telling? Not sick in the house. I swear to God. Everything that came out of these people. This is the thing. If it came out of my mouth, aside from Matt, it's the truth. Because I didn't lie in there. Because that's not how I mm -hmm. build trust, right? And so, so everything that everyone was like, this, 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 or like theorizing, none of that is true. So literally anything, like, and I keep reading that, and I was like, I just keep laughing at all of it. Because it's so, it seems so... Oh, yeah, Lisa. And um, um, yeah. someone in on the live, um, his name is um, Joshua. He says, um, what is Lisa's zodiac sign? Gemini. Ooh. I'm a Gemini. Yes. <laughs> That's good yes. Mm -hmm. But I mean, of all the house guests, I think Lisa. I think you're probably like hated on the work the least. One thing, I at least from what I've seen. Wait, I'm hated on. Yeah, yeah I don't really. I'm hated on the least. Not I, you right now. It's oh. rare to see someone not like you. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, where? Anywhere, like, like on social where? media. Yeah, because I've especially seen on Twitter, okay. people love you. People yeah, miss people you. love you. They miss you. Let me tell you <laughs> one thing I know. Thank Once you. Once Angela gets evicted, everyone's going to throw a party. It's going to be balloons everywhere. It's going to be. It's going to be calm. Calm. Everything happening. Let's find me out the house. That's what you get. And I cannot wait for the Lisa's missed comments. The Lisa's missed comments are going to be my. Favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what like, are the Lisa's Miss? Catch me up on, like, the like cool karma. things that are happening. Like, you got your karma. So, like, Lisa's Miss hit Angela, and that's, like, out of the game. So that's going to hit her. Oh, that's going to, like, blow up. That's going to kind of like, blow up. Lisa's kind of Miss, everything is going to blow up once you, mm -hmm. like, it's even. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I kind of love that. It's Lisa's Glitter. Yeah. And if, again, glitter. you guys... Guys, if you glitter, guys yes. need oh my God. everything <laughs> that glitters is gold or something. <laughs> they this is the thing they need Until to get her right and now, her out just sooner rather than later. Comp, 
cop, cop. And everyone's like, at first everyone was like, yay, Tucker. Now it's like, oh, he won again. Here's the thing. They should have kept me because I would have beat him. I would have beat him Logically, in that Logically, I literally thought Angela was going to go. Like, I thought that whole house would be like, Angela's going I was home shocked. after what she's doing. When I saw that vote, I was like, oh, you guys really, oh, you guys aren't playing. Everyone want, was walking on eggshells. No one, you know, um, Chelsea actually used the bully word first. And so did Kenny, but no one was saying yeah, anything. I don't like Chelsea. Yeah, we don't like I never like liked Chelsea. Kenny. Like, why do you want to leave the game after signing up? Okay. Wait, okay, wait, I, I, I like Chelsea What's on a game on level and a personal level. Just the thing about her game is... She got yeah. too close to Cedric, which is his HOH was like, I really hate to say this about Cedric, and I know there's like a lot of fans, but Cedric's game, I love him personally, but as a game player, after he put Mackenzie up, that was his downfall. That was his eviction next week. Because why are you putting up someone mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. has a power and told you about a power, who can keep themselves safe even if you nominate them? So if they win HOH next week, you're going to be on the block. That, that wasn't smart for him and, and i'm another like thing like, yeah you should have put up quinn because quinn can't use his power after a nomination ceremony so get him out like right now yeah and if mackenzie hey. never got nominated Haley, she would never have to use said? it and he wouldn't have made an enemy out of her mm -hmm. yeah and cedric <laughs> hey, Haley, what are your thoughts on things what are oh, your thoughts on things i know well, you have I something just, to say pretty much just thinking about like um how are your thoughts on just like all the house guests and just how, what's your personal opinion about them? Like people, there's a different reality on TV versus in person. And I just want to know like how they like really are. Like how are they like to live with? Yeah, how are they like to live with? Here's the thing, I didn't have issues with anyone yeah. and I thought well, once you come out the house, everyone. it's like, once you hear all As these things, it's like, oh. You you realize that your reality was very different than theirs. Um, again, I am not going over all of the micro conversations about things that were said behind closed doors about me. I know some of them. I don't know all of them. And I'm taking my experience of how people treated me in person. Um, and then I'm open to having conversations with everyone, aside from someone that I set a boundary with. Um, outside of the house, then I, I'm excited to talk to people in real life yeah. without the yeah. game lens, you know, and I'm open to building relationships with the people and, you know, just probably like being like, hey, mm -hmm. heard that there was some stuff said, <laughs> let's clear it up, you know? So I, I always wanna like chat with people and, you know, hopefully be on the same page and if it works, like move forward together or move in different directions. but. You know, everyone in the house, I mean, even Tucker, he was nice to me, you know, even if it was like a, fr if everyone yeah. was nice to me, um, even if it well, was a friend. Apple. So I, like, I, I, I will have to see, it's going to be an interesting road to I, navigate. And I'm just, just going to navigate Tucker had the balls. Literally be like, I'm using the power veto on Angela, not myself, to play in the AI arena. And he beasted it and he, he, he did the damn thing like he i thought he was i thought he wasn't going to use it the next week he got nominated i was like is he actually about to do this again and then angela was like you better not do that you better not do that um we have a few questions from people i'm going to ask um amelia rose lisa how do you feel um that brooklyn could go home this week i mean she's a strong player she's also another number in alliance to diminish them and so like if they're going with getting stronger players out i think that's a strong move again i don't know fully what she said about me i know it's probably not the best so i'm not gauging that you know like i'm not making a personal decision but gameplay you know that could be a strong one out this week brooklyn is of those targets and it's just crazy um everyone uh, i don't know who, who, who who do you think's winning the entire game? I hope t -Core wins the game. This is also the thing, like Quinn was also in one of my alliances. So, you know, I know that he's very controversial right now in how he's playing, but he's a really strong player and he's a really good person and would love to see him. The thing about Quinn, I really four. like him personally. It's just, I hate how um, he's playing in the game. 
so it makes it hard to root for him. Yeah, I know you've seen like the diary rooms yeah. of him like, I'm lying yeah. to people, I'm playing this game, everyone doesn't know it, but you got exposed by Tucker basically about your power. And I'm like, and you still want to keep him after the fact he told y'all that he has a power that he can use next week, which happened. It's so stupid. I'm just like, like y'all could have did it. I mean, people just want to get, people want to keep getting strong players out. I think some people think that this is a good strategy. I mean, people want to get strong players out. I mean, yeah, but like also, here's the thing. You want to get strong players out, but you also want strong people, okay. players to be in your alliance to beat out the other people. So it's like really interesting if like, here's the thing. They got, no, one is. no one's beating Tucker. <laughs> He's running comps so so who are the strong players that can beat Tucker to get Tucker out? So that's the move. Like people probably don't like that the same person has, I think, I feel like even week to week, he's the one mm -hmm. that has all the power and he's still making moves even when he might not have the power. So like he's a comp beast. He's very strategic. He's really good at planting all the seeds and playing the game with that power. And they eliminated two people that probably could have beat Tucker and that was their choice and I think that was also their mistake because now they're in a place where someone's beating them that's what I was talking about very well um, to my friend about they were like if you have Tucker on the block this might be a good opportunity to get him out like the first time he was on the block this could be a good opportunity because he says he wants to go up you don't see anyone who wants to go up even for a pawn reason but you want to go up just to compete in the AI arena and win the veto and not use the veto. That's someone to like, like look out for in the game. Yeah. Because then people can never protect themselves. So I feel like the people in there are probably just like so stressed all the time because there's like the concept of safety in there. Like you're never safe because with the assumption that Tucker is winning based off of his pattern, it's just like another week where your fingers crossed cross of like not knowing what he's going to do not knowing who he's going to use it on and not even like giving the chance mm -hmm. to be able to like win that yourself right but this would be like an interesting week because he's hoh right he can't play in the veto comp so, so whoever plays in the veto comp might be really mm -hmm. interesting how they use it you know like someone who's not on the block if one of the other players wins and it's yeah. uh, didn't, yeah. wait, did tucker already yeah. win the veto yeah you have to be one full power he actually won for one. Okay, so yeah. he's, yeah. he's, yep. a, he's uh, HOH okay, um, and Vito. So he has the most power right now. Like, uh, one thing I killed for three, three, three weeks in a row. Yeah, three weeks. He's, wait a minute. Didn't he, like, complete the trifecta Vito? I don't think Lisa... Like, Lisa, do you know about the, tri uh, um, the trifecta Vito? It's when the Vito yeah, winner... Um, you've won the Vito as a nominee, a house guest choice... Well, player, yeah, POV player or an HOH. I think he completed all, all three. I don't know if he did, but he won it when he was HOH. He won it when he was a nominee. I don't think he did when he was a veto player. Uh -huh. I think he completed it. But I think, in reality, if Tucker leaves the house, that's detrimental to Angela's game. And if and if Angela leaves, that's detrimental to Tucker's game because they're both huge targets in the game. Like, no matter what, they're going to be both huge targets. So they're going to keep using each other. Because what Tucker did was smart. He took Angela off. And she won the V. Uh, she won the HOH, and she's keeping him safe. He won the HOH. Now he's keeping her safe. If one of those two leave, the other one is gone. Is like gone for sure because they have no one else to like hide behind. That's what those two have in, the, have in their minds in the back of the at the back of their minds right now. I think. Yeah. Because, oh, well, like, they are free. Like though. in reality, Angela needs Tucker, and Tucker needs Angela. That's just bottom line. I think that they should have a battle back. <laughs> Normally I'm against them, but I need Lisa back in the house. Yeah. I think you could take down Tucker. That would be so satisfying. So oh, Lisa's getting I'm back into the you. house 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Lisa's coming. That would be like, back. okay, so I really wanted to win the second veto, like two in a row, and then the knockout challenge. Was like, I think you would iconic. do really good. In. Um, and I think. There was one, there was one, um, there was one thought when Tucker had thoughts of going up and I was like, shouldn't there, I was like, I want to make sure that there's someone that I can beat in the AI arena. But then it was like, Tucker's part of the plan because they, Angela was the target. And then 
I was like, cool, someone to guarantee my safety, but clearly we know that that wasn't the case kind of thing. So also I love puzzles. I'm really good at puzzles. I literally blinked. One of my like pieces wouldn't go in kind of thing. Like I knew how to do it, but the pieces weren't easy to go in kind of thing. Mm -hmm. There was like, um, like a cylinder that holds mm -hmm. it had to go inside another cylinder. I think you guys saw. Um, and then he was really um, Lisa, your seconds. time in the house in the competitions. Would you say that you're more of a physical competition winner or mental trivia type competition winner? Because you were good at that puzzle. I'm not, not even going to lie. You were good at that puzzle. And the next thing you know, Tucker won. And I was like, here we go. But the physical one was the B competition. Um, I would that say... one's like more mental kind of. I would say both. I would say a mix of both. Like I love endurance, endurance, endurance competitions because you know that's what my body trained you in. You would have killed it on yeah, the wall competition. Though. I could, I just, I just like zone out and go into a mode. Like me in the spelling bee competition, like there was no other option, and I was hyper laser focused, and I was like, we're like I'm doing this, and there's no other option, and I just like. Yeah. When you were like, if I don't win this veto, better. I'm going home. Um, if I don't win this veto, I'm going home. But also, exactly. But there's also that mental component of that I had. I went in and I had five words picked out and it was ready. And I had a mental strategy in my mind. You know, the same thing happened for the second veto competition. Obviously, my strategy wasn't good. But then it's like, okay, adapt, try something different, do it this way, right? So I think it's a mix of I think it's a mix of both. Like the HO, the second HOH mm -hmm. competition where it was like the memory competition. I have a good memory, but they showed us so many videos, and like that was anyone's game kind of thing. So it really depends on the competition. And I you succeeded in the that. first veto, and I don't care. You always have that veto. And Joseph tried to spell what again? He tried to spell spins, you. but it was spiz. Spiz. Brooklyn tried to spell motherhood. <laughs> motherhood. That, motherhood. <laughs> that made me laugh so hard. <laughs> the only motherhood that's in that house was Lisa. I don't care oh, what no one says. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was only Lisa. She's the one that cleaned. She's the one that cooked. She's the one that washed dishes. She's the one that laid cough drops out for everyone. She's the one that was the mother of the house. Like, please come back. We need you. No, man, but yeah, we have one comment. last question for you. Um, how do you feel about Ainsley? Yeah. Ainsley. How do you feel about Ainsley? <laughs> Ainsley. Honestly. <laughs> honestly, I thought Ainsley and I were gonna be friends when she first came on the screen. I was like, I like her top, but I didn't want someone else to be. I was like, I we would vibe. And before I knew what the twist was, I my thought was like originally because that was the first mm -hmm. thing and I was like oh my god I really like her I want to give her a chance and it was like a more of an emotional you know we just got into the house that was the first competition we're like adjusting right and I was like oh my god I like her I feel like she would be I didn't know it was a twist at all and I was like I think we would be good friends maybe she would be an ally yeah. she's really sweet we would vibe and go to the beach and I like her style and then I was like Lisa you're playing a game think about the game and then I go it's gonna be hard enough kicking 15 people out of the house that's I don't what I'm want saying because like and that's during like all like the competition they were like I would love to have someone else come in the game, but it's like, now I have to compete against 16 other people? I don't want that. And then people were like, maybe I can like have another person on my side yeah. in the game. So that was like the big, like the big deciding factor. And everyone knew like, yeah, we no. can't have like, like another person in the house. But then once you saw like that message on the screen, you were like, That's also oh, we're done for. I know. I think that was a yeah. good question to end on. It's late here, and I'm going to head to bed. Uh, oh, if yeah. anyone wants to take a screenshot, Wait. take a screenshot. All right. Adorable. Bye. Love you, Lisa. Love you, Lisa. Bye. Nice to meet you. Feel free to post him back.